Hey guys, like I told you, I would show you a video of how to mobilize um, the shoulder. So some of this, when you're in the overhead position for kettlebell, um, some of this is going to be accomplished through thoracic extension. Okay, so period of here to get into position here, okay? versus a neutral back. So if you're able to thoracic extend, um, so we'll do some stuff for that, as well as trying to, as well as, trying to mobilize the shoulder to allow it to get more over, stacked overhead. Now your shoulder doesn't have to be like way back here. So generally like when I am locking out, my shoulder is probably right in line with the front of my cheek, okay? It's not way back here, okay? Usually it's about right here. So you just want it to get to a position that you feel like it can lock out, okay? Um, without you having to do a lot of work to hold it overhead. Now, some things that I notice like with lockout, even for myself, like if I don't get my hand driven up, okay? The scapula pushed down and the hand driven up here, my shoulder does not lock out, okay? Like if I just keep my arms neutral, it wants to fall out. So you have to think that when you go to jerk, that I want my elbows to drive up neutral or narrow, up, 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 lock. So you kind of see how my hands are kind of pushed a little bit back, okay? It's really driving my scapula down in and I'm contracting through back here and driving the scapula down in and driving, think of like, I'm, like there's a string pulling my palm up, okay? So if you kind of feel it, you can feel, Lock down in, drive up. Okay, it's almost like it's pulling two different directions. Okay, so from the front, it would be bump, narrow, 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 lock. Stand up, but if you see when I'm locked, my, hand, my arms are not all the way back here. Okay, so you don't have to get into this, whew, this super far back position in order to lock out, okay? It just needs to be center line, of your body. So not out here, but right here. So as you can see, that's not like way back here behind my ear. Okay, but some things if you're having trouble even getting to this straight up and down position, some different things that you can do is first, what do I do with my ball? First, you're going to do something with a ball that I got. But then I yelled at the kids, so I don't know what I did with it. So, you are gonna get a lacrosse ball, or I would also suggest to get some blades. Um, these are rock tape blades, but you can get a lot cheaper ones online, like on Amazon for like 15 or 20 bucks. So you can either come here and scrape the shoulder joint, Okay, um, you may find it's gonna be kind of uncomfortable. Uh, preferably you probably do it, you can do it over a shoulder or with some lotion. Just kind of move your sports bra out of the way and scrape, 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 scrape. And then also, this might be kind of hard for you to get, so you might have somebody do it for you. You can scrape your lat back here, okay? And you'll start to notice after scraping that you're able to get And I'm just doing that attachment that attaches the uh, pec minor up to the shoulder, okay? All the way down onto the top part of the pec. Um, and you can kind of retest yourself to see the difference in position after you scrape. Usually once you scrape that muscle and the fascia release and you're able to get into a little bit better position, okay? So if you don't have a scraper, you can also, use a um, lacrosse ball and you can do this on the wall. Okay, I'm just gonna take it here and I'm just gonna roll it <laughs> on that peck. You'll get to points where it's like Pretender, just kind of hold out on it for a second. 
You can even move your arm. And roll. Oh, I should probably do this more often. Okay. And then get into position. Um, same thing with your lat, rolling your lat. Oh, shit. I think I need to go to the chiropractor. <laughs> oh, bitches. Okay, other side. So, roll. Oh, up. So the lat, like basically below the shoulder blade is ideally like where I'm trying to hit right now. But you can also get up in behind, in between like on the rhomboids as well. Same thing, do about a minute on each one and then check. Then after you do that, I would go and hang. So dead hang. So I put this in some of you guys' programs. Um, you can either do it on a lower bar or on a high bar like this. So all you're gonna do is reach up, and my feet are touching the ground, so you don't have to be like hanging with your full weight, but you're just gonna hang and then let yourself sink in. Now I have to kind of move my head forward because I've had two headphones in right now, but you just wanna slowly start to exhale and release. Really start to sink down in. Let those rhomboids come apart. And then every time you exhale, try and sink down in more. You'll probably get to a point where you're almost like cutting off your circulation to your neck because your arms have pulled up so high. Okay, so do that for, uh, you know, basically about a minute so your grip gets tired. And then the next part is this kind of cat cow on a bench. It's gonna be a long video. Um, so, here. So you're just gonna kneel next to the bench, okay? Arms forward here. Okay, so I'm gonna exhale Inhale, and then when I go to exhale, I want to release. And so I want to focus on keeping tension down into the bench as I'm going down. So I want to push with my arms down into the bench. Push. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, tension. And I can even get to the bottom and kind of let my upper thoracic kind of extend down and flex. So inhale, come up, exhale. Putting pressure down into the bench. And you can even see, like, I mean, I have pretty good thoracic, upper thoracic mobility. I don't have a ton lower. Um, but even for that one, like, if I do it with pressure as I'm going down and as I'm going up, um, I get a lot more flexion as I keep working it. So the idea there is that I'm under tension and I'm moving it through range of motion. The next thing that you can do is swing a mace. Okay, so if you don't have a mace, um, you can also do something with a dumbbell because I know not everybody has a mace. So you wanna take a decently heavy dumbbell and you're gonna put it in position like you would hold for uh, tricep extensions. Okay, but instead I'm just going to let it hang behind me and I wanna to focus to try and keep my triceps turned forward and let this flexion happen. Okay, here, hold. And to get out of it, I would just roll it up over your shoulder if you need to. Don't try and lift it. Because after 
when you get tired, your elbows are gonna be really tight. So once again, you'll just be here, let it hang. Keep those arms turned inward towards your head and just let it sink back. So before when we were on the bar, we were kind of stretching our rhomboids and our lats. And then now we're gonna be stretching triceps and the pectoral muscle. And then also practicing this flexion. Okay, so this is what's, this upper back flexion is what's gonna allow me to get more closer to the ear than necessarily just only working my mobility with my arms. So, um, once you do those, and you wanna do that stuff before you lift. Okay, so warm it up, do some dynamic stuff, and then after you do um, the stretch, then go back and do some light jerks to kind of warm the muscle back up because you just stretched it before you go into your set. Um, those are the main things. If you have the mace, you can also do the, just the swing drill, same thing, focus on keeping it. And you can also do the walk up drill with the mace. So you're walking it up like this, but focus on letting it rest back there. Um, we'll just leave it at that for right now. So add those four things in, either the scraping or the ball, and then the hangs, um, the, um, I don't know what you want to call it, the tension with cat cow and the bench, where you're kneeling on the bench, and then um, doing a posterior hang with a dumbbell or a mace. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, hopefully that helps.